Today, we have a gaming phone that we're gonna review, guys. This one is the new one by Xiaomi. This one is called the Shark uh, 4S. There's two versions of this, guys. There's the non-pro uh, version, this is the one, and there's the pro version. The difference is the cost-wise. This one's around uh, uh, $600, the other one's around $800. And the chipset is different too. This one's running a Snapdragon 870, the other one's running a Snapdragon 888 Plus. My opinion, but I prefer, I rather have the Snapdragon 870 because less uh, heating for gaming. Snapdragon Chippo 8, I notice uh, if you play gaming on it for a long time, the phone kind of heats up. And this one has got the liquid cooling technology, something like that. <laughs> what we're gonna do today, guys, we're gonna see how does it look like, how's the camera on it, how is it for uh, gaming, how does it perform. But before we do that, guys, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. There's a little bell at the bottom, I think, on the left-hand side corner. If you press it like that, every time I make a video, you're going to get a reminder. So I'll see you guys in a second. We have the new Black Shark 4S, guys. See what's in here. Probably a case. Yes, it is. You get a nice case and you get stickers. And these are, uh, I think, if you put them in the light, it will reflect. Look at that. Let's see what else is in there. So you got 120 watt supercharge and you got cables. Pull this thing out. Very nice, it's got some weight to it guys, this thing is not light at all. And you got aluminium frame all around. And you got a very nice looking back, look at that. Very nice, and it says right there, Black Shark Liquid Cooling. And you got the S logo, it looks like a Superman logo. You got triple camera set up at the 48 MP, and it's got like an arrow on the side here. Hardly any bump for the camera. You got a headphone jack, and look at this guys, that's your uh, controllers right there. As soon as you go like this, they pop up. That's your on and off button right there, and your fingerprint scanner. And this phone comes with face unlock as well too. You got your uh, selfie camera uh, in the center, and you got a 6.7 inch uh, E4 AMOLED display. Very nicely done on this one. Like the way it looks a little bit different than the other one. And I noticed guys, they give you a headphone jack. That's cool, really like that. And I like that aluminum frame all around, guys. It makes it look very cool and slick. And if you're a gamer, look at this, guys. On the sides here, it's got the two uh, clips. Go like this, these things pop out. And you can just uh, play your game like this. Before we get in deeper, guys, into this video, let's check out the specs on this phone. You have a 6.67 Super AMOLED E4 display, 144 hertz HDR10, 1080 times 24, and you got on display. Platform running on Android 11, Joy UI 1.2.8. For chipset, you have a uh, Snapdragon 875 5G 7 millimeter. For GPU, you got a Geno 650. For camera, for the rear, you got a 48 MP f 1.8 wide. You got 8 MP f 2.2 ultra wide. You got a 5 MP f 2.4 micro. Phone can record 4K 60. For selfie camera, you got 20 MP f 2.0 wide. You got HDR, can record 1080p 30. Phone comes with headphone jack, you get NFC. You got on-site fingerprint scanner and face unlock. For battery, you got 4,500 milliamp. You got a fast charge of 120 watt, 100% in 17 minutes. So let's go check out the fingerprint scanner on this, guys. So you guys can see how quick does it work. Then I'm going to show you guys some of the apps that come in this phone and some quick uh, features. And we're going to check out see how many languages this phone's got. So the fingerprint scanner, guys, is on the side here. This will turn your phone off if you hold it down and turn it on as well, too. Now let's try see how good it is. Come on. It's pretty quick. Scanning it pretty good. Okay, now let's try it. Wow, that thing is fast, guys. 
pretty fast. So quick look around guys. So these are the apps that come in this phone. Let's go here. You get a lot of games uh, already uh, into it. So let's go here, press this. So these are the games that already are downloaded into it. So if you don't want them, just delete them because they just take space in the phone. And then you got the rest of these here. These ones, I usually always delete them because you don't need them. If you ever want them back, just reset the phone to factory reset and they all will come back. And these are the rest of the other apps. Then we got the top, let's pull it down the phone comes with NFC guys right there and it does work with Google Pay so you can use this phone and go pay with Google Pay let's go to main settings you got always on display it is customizable let's go to display come down brightness this phone gets pretty bright guys then we're gonna come to uh, colors let's go here make sure it stays as standard if you put it on here it's not gonna be good or here so keep it as standard guys then we got refresh rate guys so this thing comes 144 hertz you got some 90 and it comes standard 60. if you have it at 144 hertz obviously it's going to waste a lot of battery make sure you know that let's go to additional settings i'm going to show you guys languages let's see is that it for languages that's it for languages guys does not have any more only one two three okay let me show you guys a couple quick features guys so you got your light effects uh, calling. So if you turn this on, somebody calls you, you can get the sides, uh, I mean the screen on the side light up. So you can choose uh, through these colors that you can uh, prefer. Then we got lighting effects for music. So if you're listening to music, same thing. You can have it light up like that. That's so cool. Look at that. If you ever want to know your performance, just go to performance management and it shows you everything here. How much memory you're using, how much battery you got. This is crazy. And your processor management and etc. For the camera guys, it does have a bump but not that big. It's like hardly anything. You can even notice it. So if you put it on a flat surface like this, look at this guys. No shaking. That's cool. And I like that uh, curve in the back as well too, guys. The back of it, it's got like a slight curve to it. So if you're holding it like this, it actually feels really good to, uh, to play your game with it or even when you're talking on it, calling somebody, actually feels good. Really like the weight on it too, guys. It feels really good. And this phone comes with 144 hertz refresh rate. Now let's try it on 144. Look at that. You can hardly even see the screen. It's how quick it is. So what does that mean? Smooth display, smooth performance. And under the hood guys, we have a Snapdragon 870 chipset. Pretty powerful to pretty much play any game that you want on this phone. Pretty much throw anything at this phone for gaming, you should handle it with no problem. And uh, I tried uh, Call of Duty on it. Uh, I enjoyed it, guys. These joysticks, oh, they're the best. And I played Asphalt 9, one of my favorite games. Oh my God, you're gonna enjoy it. Now, let me show you guys a game that I played so you guys can see the performance on it. And I put it at 144 hertz so you guys can see how smooth this thing is. <laughs>
what surprised me on this phone is uh, how loud the speakers are on this phone. The other version of this, the, the Shark 4, the speakers were, weren't that loud. This one is really loud. Like you can actually hear, just put it like this guys, you're gonna just feels like a boom box. That's how loud this thing is. And uh, to watch uh, videos in this phone, it's different experience guys. It's like you're glued into the display. It's just, if you're watching Netflix, like 4K videos, or uh, YouTube 4K HDR, just the colors on it, it just looks so beautiful. You feel like you're inside the phone. That's how the resolution on this phone is. So let's go watch a video. You guys can see and judge it yourself. You know what I want to do? I want to try that case on it. Let me see the case. Let's see it. Pull it out. Very nice case. And it comes with stickers too, guys. If you guys want to stick any of these anywhere. It's got some nice stickers. And these stickers actually, um, uh, it actually glows at night. Okay, let's put this. That's the case. Really like that case. It's got like a, it says a black shark on top. And it's got the Superman logo at the bottom. I call the Superman logo. Let's put it on. So if you put this on, obviously you're gonna, uh, what do you call it? You're not gonna get that white color in the back no more. Like, look at that, guys. But it feels good. You still have the openings for the, for, for the joystick thing, whatever you wanna call them. These things right there. And your fingerprint scanner's got an opening. Very nice case, guys. Like, look at that display. You're covered all around, drop it like this, drop it like that, you're good to go. Now we're gonna talk about the camera, guys. That's when I was a little bit disappointed, but it's a gaming phone, so they're not gonna put the best camera on this phone. This phone comes for main camera 48 MP. And for features, guys, they don't really give you that many features to go through the camera. I'm gonna show you guys the features that this phone comes with, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So let's go to Pro Mode. From here you can, uh, I guess, adjust your uh, lighting, your uh, zoom, and all that stuff. I don't know nothing about pro modes. So if you're a professional camera guy, you probably know how to use this. Now we're gonna go back to video. For video, if you guys can see the little square thing little here on the side, press that, and then you jump into ultra white. Look at that. Turn it off, turn it on. And it gets pretty white, look at that. And I have my hand all the way down, so when I go like this, I'm looking at the grass. When I go like this, I can see my uh, end of my backyard. That's pretty good. Then we're going to see how many zoom does it have. Actually, we got to turn that off. Let's see how many zoom. So we got a uh, five times zoom in uh, video. Then you go here, guys. So max record is 4K 60. And you got your, uh, what do you call it, your micro and your AI camera. Once you jump into AI camera, guys, it's automatically gonna jump into 1080p, make sure you know that. But uh, it gives you that beautiful resolution with beautiful colors, so it makes everything more brighter. Then we're gonna go to uh, photo. For photo, same thing, that square thing, guys. Look at that. That's the wide angle. You got your HDR, your filters, portrait, 48 MP. And for more, we got your night mode, short video, panorama, documents, vlog, uh, slow motion, time lapse, and that's for that. Let's go back to photo, see if there's any delays. Yeah, it's got some delay, let's hold it down. Whoa, I can hold it and it will take as much as pictures that I want, guys. Like I'm telling you, hold it, you'll probably go to 200. That's crazy. Now let's see how good the focus is. Let's see. The focus is not that good. Let's go to 48 MP. 48 MP, the focus is a little bit better than the actual photo. So the focus, I'm not that fan of it. 
I did take a picture in a 48 MP in this phone. I don't know. I think they were okay, but they weren't the greatest. And I took pictures in a portrait mode. The portrait mode, I was not happy at all. It does not come out that good. It doesn't make that picture or whatever you're taking a picture of pop out. I wasn't happy with that. But let's go look at them. You guys can judge it yourself. This one is the portrait mode that I took. Same as this one. So I took a selfie pictures with this phone. Then I took a selfie portrait. I think the portrait came out better than the selfie. But you guys can look at them and let me know. Now we're going to get into the portrait mode. Now we're going to talk about the video on this phone guys. So I took a video of just my backyard going like this. Then I took a video of close shot. I think if you try to take videos with this phone, if you're taking close shot videos, they come out more nicer than the just taking a video of just just anywhere around you because uh, I took a video in 4k just going like this guys and I looked at them after I wasn't that happy with it so let's go look at the videos and you guys can uh, let me know what you guys think about that And the selfie, I took video, obviously Max is 1080p. That one as well too, it didn't come out that crisp the way I wanted it. I wasn't that happy with it because the lightning, as soon as you turn a little bit, the light changes between. Let's go look at that too. So what do you guys think about this phone? Is it worth it for the price or not? I don't know. I can't really say. You guys let me know, please. Catch you guys in my next video.